Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This isn't a, a desktop wallpaper here. It's the chat room as tied into uh, the, uh, I guess, the, the feed now. It's just simple IRC. I welcomed all my nomies in there. And uh, earlier today, we asked you, as a part of the greater community, which is a great community, by the way, where you go to find good Windows 7 themes and wallpapers. Uh, and I know there are many good wallpapers that come with Windows 7, including some shots and angles that are quite familiar here in the Seattle area. I'm like, oh, that's from the ferry. Oh, that's over by the Space Needle. Oh, that's this. Oh, that's that. Uh, that's kind of neat to have you know, my home as a part of this massively awesome operating system. We'll see if, if more Seattle area wallpapers uh, become integrated uh, with uh, Windows 8 when that comes out. So where do you guys go? to find good themes and wallpapers. Ah, so Terrence64 suggests Rain Meter, uh, and, and I haven't used that in, gosh, so long. One of the things that many of you recommended, and we posted this in the article that's linked in the description in case you wanna see the collection and be able to click real quick uh, and add to add to the list as well, uh, where to find Windows 7 themes and desktop wallpapers. Wallbase was apparently huge uh, in terms of where you can go to find wallpapers. Reddit as well. I mean, I know there's some good stuff on Reddit, which I got to tell you, is probably the world's number one news source today. Uh, Interface Lift, there's a classic. DeviantArt, another one. Uh, Google Images, find NASA. Oh, the astronomy picture of the day. Else. HDWallpapers.com. Uh, Airliners.net. Well, I suppose if you like airplanes. Uh, my camera says cat. ThemeWorld.com. Uh, I would avoid Softpedia since it's a little... I would say it's a user nightmare uh, more than anything. Sorry, not to take away from your suggestion, Geek Girl 27. My own experience is like, no, I want to see the site that's truly built for around themes and wallpapers and a good user experience. Uh, Nexus wallpaper. Uh, let's see here, web shots. I haven't used web shots uh, for a long time, to tell you the truth. So we did our best to collect you know, the resources we've listed here in the chat, uh, as well as uh, on the article, where to find Windows 7 themes and desktop wallpaper. We're trying to make it a, a pretty definitive resource so that when people ask, because you guys are asking, those of you who are saying, hey, I got Windows 7, where do I get wallpapers for Windows 7? Right there. Now, wallpapers, as you very well know, can run cross-platform, so we're not trying to leave anybody out of the equation at all. They're just images, so keep that in mind. We're not trying to limit anything. It's just we know we have... I know people are going to laugh at this. We have a lot more Windows users in our community than anything else. And so we're, we're, you know, we're addressing that part of our community. And I think it's just fine. I don't care what operating system you use as long as you appreciate the information and the resources we're sharing with you. I would say out of all of those, uh, that, that wall base had to be recommended the most by our community. That was their number one recommendation for where to find wallpapers. Take a look at the article. Uh, feel free to share it with your uh, social media connections. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it. Uh, tweet it and like it as well, and I hope you do too. Uh, we've had a few people already do it to this point, and we appreciate uh, any kind of recommendations you might be able to make, including, did you know Microsoft had its own selection of wallpapers on its own website that doesn't come with Windows outright? You have to download them from Microsoft? How many of you even knew that? You were looking elsewhere, and you didn't even realize Microsoft was giving you the tools right there. Take a look. We're here to help.